Hey guys, it's uh, Thursday, January 6th. Um, I am actually up on a roof right now. Uh, I've been getting a lot of phone calls over the, uh, this week from a little windstorm we had back on Monday uh, morning. A little wind shear came through basically the whole state and um, been seeing a lot, been seeing a lot of damage and been getting a lot of calls off a lot of damage. But um, I, I wanted to show you a few things up on a roof um, that um, just wanted to help you out with your decision on maybe filing a claim or um, you know just trying to figure out how to get repairs done. I know there's a lot of guys that, that do not like doing repairs because they have to bounce from job to job throughout the day, collect multiple checks, and they like sit on the job the whole day. So um, they'll price it up a little sometimes, and I just don't want you to get taken um, for a, a lot of money on a simple repair. So um, I couldn't flip my video camera around for some reason. There's not a button on this old XR. So I'm gonna move my, my camera around and talk some more. All right, so <clears throat> we're on a little basic roof here over in Forest Acres. And um, this is pretty typical damage from wind. Um, I, I just walked up here, I haven't touched it or anything. Um, I did, we did not install this roof, so if you see any flaws with installation, if we got any critics out there, um, this is not one we put on. I think this roof is probably, it's probably eight or ten year old retail, I can't remember. But if you'll notice, you, know, you got your old 15 pound felt um, underneath the shingles, you got your starter strip. Um, basically, the winds caught the edge of this, um, this and just flip these shingles over. Um, I'm gonna flip them back down just for protection for now. Of course, I can't repair these that are here, but she's lost a few um, shingles. It's a you know, pretty minor repair, probably a bundle of uh, three tabs will, will take care of this spot. But, um, you know, a lot of times when I see, um, well, the three tabs, let me, let me get back to the three tabs first. Um, three tab shingles are more of a builder grade. Um, they're not very good with wind. Um, they have like a 70 mile per hour wind rating. Um, if you really want a good roof, I uh, always encourage an architecture shingle for less than 10% more than the cost of a, a three tab. Um, you know, you're gonna get a, a wind rating of you know, almost twice that of a three tab. You're gonna get a, a laminated thicker, thicker shingle that uh, it has uh, a lot more life in it. You get a transferable warranty on most of them. Um, a little issue here, but not really, that caulking needs to be refreshed. Um, but three tabs are just kind of, I mean, they are what they are. They, they're, they're, they're made to be put on a roof for short term, 15 to 20 years if they, they peak out. This is a repair we did last year, a couple months ago. We did a, a tree had actually rubbed all these shingles and exposed the wood. So we came in and patched in this whole spot that was rotted. Um, the three tabs are patchable, and that's what I'm talking about right now is repairability. Um, most of the time, you can repair one. Um, a lot of times, roofers will tell you you can't. Um, you know, it just depends on if the shingle's going to break, um, the shingles are put on correctly. Um, I have a nail pop here. Let's see. Yeah, so you got nails uh, popping up, causing the shingle to look, look rippled up. You see that on some your roof, maybe. Um, but that nail <laughs> just comes right up. Can't push it down on the hammer. But um, yeah, insurance companies will rarely pay for wind. Um, especially now, in today's climate, they don't want to insure any roofs at all. Uh, they're trying to get out of the roofing business entirely. Um, they've told me that numerous ones from State Farm to Allstate to USAA. Insurance companies don't want anything to do with roofs um, just because they're um, so commonly messed up with hail and wind and the ever-changing climate that's only been changing for thousands of years. Um, so, yeah, these are asphalt shingles. I mean, they're soft. They're going to bend. They're going to they're going to get hit with hail. They're going to, I mean, even metal's going to get dinged up, but insurance companies are doing everything they can to get out of it. So my encouragement would be on something of this nature, something small. Don't file a claim first. Call a, a roofer, a good roofer. I mean, call me. I don't care. I've, I've been in it for 20 years. I, I kind of know what to do. Uh, I don't do the repairs, but I can at least tell you what's going on and give you a good price. Um, 
there are good roofing companies out there. I'm not going to name any, um, but they're they're also guys that are out there trying to get you know a thousand dollars for this repair right here. And, and you know this is a well, it's a bundle of shingles. I mean, it's a three four hundred dollar repair um, at the most. But you know every company should have a base service charge. That's if you do plumbing, electrical, anything. Just to go out and do something, it should cost a couple hundred dollars just as an overhead, as an advertising, as just a, you know, a way to cover the company. Um, and then there should be the, the add-on fee for the actual repairs. So, you know, 350 400 would be a fair price on something like this. Because you've got a couple of caulking and nail pop issues over here that can be handled in the same stroke. But um, anyway, I just wanted to brief you on that because a lot of people are getting taken on this, uh, this wind situation. Um, you know, it's a, uh, it wasn't a big strong event. You know, it was like a tornado or hurricane, like I've seen working claims the last 20 years, but um, you yeah, know, it definitely did some small damage that uh, I can help resolve for you. So feel free to contact me through Facebook or call me 460-6001. That's area code 803. Y'all take care. Bye.